As far as uh, Britain is concerned, I mean, Williams, I think, came out in 1944. And I think it's fair to, I mean, it's ludicrous that Penguin has re-edited him as if it's an up-to-date observation on the situation. I think it's fair to say that um, it does not reflect current scholarship. I think that's being polite. Um, and that now the argument would be that the major reasons for the end of the slave trade and slavery in the British world reflected um, ideological and political developments within Britain rather than an economic law. And indeed, you can take it further than that. Once slavery was abolished, the uh, West Indies colonies became relatively unuseful, let's just put it like that, to the British Empire, which was a hell of a lot of capital asset to write off. 